Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. Uh, I have a box here, and you know what that means. Uh, time to unbox and see what's in here. Um, I believe what's in here is the blaster that I ordered off of Amazon yesterday, the one that I had previously about a year or so ago. I had to reorder it because I just noticed that I had some uh, accessories that went with it that I didn't sell with it, I guess, <laughs> which I should have. Um, it's a fairly old blaster. I think it's came out in 2018 or 19. Um, it's a Nerf shell strike. Uh, so it's kind of like a shotgun pistol, which is really cool. Um, let's get it out of the box here. Got the dart right there. Instruction manual, like we really need that. Uh, I'm use my exacto knife to get those out. Oh, actually, I can just use these. That looks better. Okay, there we go. Jeez, got enough pies in this thing. Just, you only need like three max. <laughs> I was pulling this thing out of the box. There's that guy. Here's the extra shell. Just rip this stuff off. Get the guy out there. Okay. All right, so the way this guy works, Open. I'm kind of glad they switched to that tissue paper type because since this is an old blaster it did come with plastic but the newer ones they come with like that tissue paper it's so much easier to open. <laughs> All right the way you work this blaster um, you basically push this down and this comes forward the shell comes out I think Sometimes you have to hit it a little bit, and then you can just reload in another shell. Close back up. Pull that back to prime, let it go, it has an auto retract, and you just shoot. Um, I've seen a few mods on this blaster. Uh, I may do it. The first one I'll do is I'll upgrade the spring in it, because it shoots fairly well as is, but I want it to be higher. Um, so I'll, I'll see if I can upgrade the actual spring that goes into the plunger tube and then the catch spring to match it. Um, another mod I saw that looked pretty interesting was this guy cut here, uh, let's see, like right here, and then he cut across basically like that. So it was actually a pistol you could he could actually holster. So you would lose um, these two things that you know can hold extra shells but you would be able to holster your blaster. So, you know, it has pros and cons. Um, they do have a um, kind of a rail attachment for these um, that you could put on the bottom potentially. So if, actually no, that'd be gone because you would have cut that all off. Um, yeah, so basically you would lose your storage space. Um, but, all right, let's, set, let's test one and see how it shoots. And then I'll show you what the accessory was that I had before. Run right in like that. Yeah, so you know, fairly well. Um, I'll find that one later. So, what I want to do, basically I'm going to take these shells out. I remember they were coming out easier. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I got these. I forget. Oh, so sick with it. Okay, so yeah, I ordered this from So Sick with It's shop on uh, Etsy. Basically, it's a rival ball uh, cartridge for the shell uh, strike here and the uh, was it the trilogy DS15. Um, 
So it should just go in like that. Make sure it's all the way up to the front. Since it's 3D printed, it has a little, you know, you kind of have to push it in manually. But should be able to put it in like that. Yeah, so that's not bad. And with these, I actually have a lot of them. And what's cool about this shell strike is if you want to leave that shell in there and just um, you know reload it, you can front load, um, which is cool. So that you don't have to really open this. Yeah, and the same thing with the uh, um, the ones that it came with. Let's get this one out. I might have to put um, some silicone grease in there too because. I noticed that even the shell that it comes with gets stuck in here, and now this one's getting stuck. So, I don't know, maybe it's a 3D print, maybe it's the shell itself. So, say you load that one in, say it's empty, say you already shot it, you can just front load this thing, so it's real easy. Um, I don't know about taking out the air restrictor. I think I, I think I read that when people try to do it, they were able to tap, take out the ones for the top two, but they weren't able to get to the third one, so it screwed it up a little bit. I'll take a look when I open this up uh, to see if I can. I'll do it if I can't. Yeah. Um, but since it does shoot three all at once, you know, there's no, you know, half pull. So, you know, shoots the first two, and then you pull all the way to shoot the last one. Um, that could be pretty fun, especially with a heavier spring. Because um, even with a heavier spring with just, you know, the regular darts would be better, but with these shots, it'd be pretty cool. It'd be like a three round, uh, like a, th well, not that tough. <laughs> I was gonna compare it to a three round uh, um, Kronos, but that's, that wouldn't be it. It'd be more like, a, well, I wouldn't reach those numbers. <laughs> um, just because it's an elite blaster. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I think this thing shoots only like, um, I mean, I don't know how to test this because it's three darts at once. I mean, we'll try it, but I don't know where to put this, so we'll just do this. <laughs> and that's why you can't do that. <laughs> All right, let me just load one. Uh, I don't think it matters. It has a, I think it has a smart AR in it, so when, if you just do load one, it'll sense which one. That's pretty funny though. <laughs> look like look like people try and run into a store on Black Friday. <laughs> All right, let's try again. 63.9, so not bad, um, you know, for a nerf. Um, but yeah. Uh, if I do do a mod to this and it works out, I'll do another video on this. Um, but I'll link the blaster. I think I got, yeah, I got the blaster from Amazon. And I'll link these as well if you want to do uh, rival rounds. And I'll uh, link you down below for um, the uh, rail attachment with the extra shells and stuff if you want to get more of these guys. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's it for the uh, Nerf Shell Strike here. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, please like, follow, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.